a whole bunch of updates from the Muesli swap team, including their sidechain decks that they're building on Mercometer, their audit that they've completed with M Labs, and their brand new staking of their milk tokens on their decks so that you can earn some additional tokens. Put those milk tokens to work and get yourself earning some extra tokens on the side. All that coming up in this video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, welcome back to the Learn Cardano podcast. I'm Peter Bury. Please consider giving that thumbs up, click subscribe and notification bell, and you'll hear more great Cardano content from me. The Muesli Swap team have never disappointed. Coming out of nowhere and launching the first DEX on the Cardano blockchain, and now they're rolling out all of these updates. They're going crazy. Well, not crazy crazy, but they're delivering so many cool new things to the Cardano ecosystem, and I absolutely love what they're doing for us. So if we have a look here, the very first thing that we want to note is their sidechain development on Milcometer. So Milcometer, I've got an interview coming up with them very soon, but they're building out their Muesli Swap decks on the Milcometer sidechain. So this is an EVM chain. So if you haven't heard of it, check out the links down below and you can find out more about Milcometer and what the Ethereum virtual machine is and how they're building things out on the sidechain and doing some really cool things bringing in more developers into the Cardano ecosystem from Ethereum or, or wherever else. Anyway, the Muesli Swap team uh, announced that they're building out their decks on here and it's another opportunity for people to provide liquidity and possibly earn more tokens on that sidechain. So they'll be bringing in wrapped assets onto the Cardano ecosystem in terms of Ethereum, USDT and USDC. So having this option to bring in extra liquidity from other ecosystems via the sidechain is highly important for Cardano and Milcometer is allowing that and DEX is building on top of it such as the Muesli Swap M1 will allow everyone to participate in that particular ecosystem. So I'm really looking forward to what they're delivering here. We don't know exactly when this is all going to come to play but because most of these uh, Ethereum based uh, DEXs are just forks of Uniswap. It's probably pretty easy to spin this up and deliver it on the sidechain. It's, uh, it's very exciting what's happening here and we're going to see a lot more of these DEXs launch on Milcometer and this is just one of them. So we're going to have a look and see uh, what other ones are going to be launching very soon as well. Now, the other thing the Muesli Swap team have been up to is the audit that they've done with M Labs. So they've completed their audit. Now, the really cool thing that we got here is the actual audit itself. Now, this, this link here is broken. I'll, I'll just email the team in a moment, but you can get to it from the M Labs uh, GitHub repository, and I'll put a link down below in the show notes. But you can read, actually read through their audit and find out exactly uh, where issues were, what was fixed within that particular audit as well. So that's really cool that you can actually see and verify and and learn what the team are up to and what they're doing in terms of that audit. I haven't seen many other audit reports from other projects, and having that level of transparency is really cool from a project to see. So there are a couple of really cool features that are coming out in version two. And I mentioned this in an interview I did with the team and you can get to it in the top right hand corner there. But they had a couple of these features that they've been planning. And one of them is being able to do partial orders. So at the moment on the Music Swap decks, you have to buy or sell the entire order that is requested there. So if someone's putting in a buy order, you have to sell and fulfill that entire thing. So now we have the option to partially fulfill that order instead of having to commit to that entire transaction. For example, if there was a whale that was selling all of their milk tokens and they had 10,000 milk tokens selling at seven ADA each, that's a lot of ADA there that you've got to fulfill that order. Now that might be the very best price there on the decks at seven ADA and you have nowhere near that amount of money, that 70,000 ADA. So you can purchase a handful now with the partial order matching, which means that you can get the best price possible, but don't need that much liquidity to provide that order for. So that's a really cool feature that they're putting into play. And I really like that because it's simply just, I want this at this price and I only have X amount of ADA, bang, there you go. Really easy trade order. 
The other feature that they have is the multiple orders matched within one transaction. So there might be a whole bunch of orders that are open that you might want to uh, fulfill and you can go click, 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 click and fulfill all of those orders in one go. So that's a really cool option as well. If you have a lot of ADA or you're trying to sell a lot of things, you can sell them all at those various prices and execute that order. So those are two really cool features I'm looking forward to on the Musical.ly Swap decks. We should see them very, very soon, as soon as they roll out. Now they do have a rollout process that's happening, so they will be rolling it out onto testnet first. Got to test it, got to get feedback, document that those processes, and then they'll be selecting various trading pairs to do this, these new features in first. So it's a, a slow, gradual rollout, testing along the way, making sure everything's working. And then once that's all good and fine, they'll be rolling it out to the rest of the decks and fully launching version two on the mainnet. So I'm looking forward to this. I really like that partial order matching. I don't have a huge amount of ADA, so it's always good to be able to buy an order and transact in smaller amounts. Now, the last thing I want to bring up, and I'll actually show you a demo for it, is their staking of their milk tokens within their decks. So we are now able to actually stake the milk tokens, put those milk tokens to work and earn some other cryptocurrencies, other tokens within the Cardano ecosystem. This is very similar to what ViFi are offering with their DEX, their uh, NFT vaults and their token vaults as well. And you can check out a video there that I did with the ViFi team so you can learn more about that. So this is a really cool feature and it seems like more and more uh, DEXs and other offerings are doing something very similar as well. So now we can stake our milk tokens, earn other tokens such as Flick2 or Snow tokens and earn more from the ecosystem that way. So let's have a look at how this actually works. So we'll go on to the Musical Swap website here. I do have a little bit of milk tokens uh, just stored away for this. So I'll connect and I'll connect using my NAMI wallet. Isn't, isn't that cool? We, we, there's a whole bunch of new wallets that are being connected. So I hadn't seen Flint on there yet or Jero wallet, but uh, NAMI wallet is what I'll connect with. It's probably the de facto wallet that everyone's using. There we go, and I'm connected. So now let's uh, enter the milk pools down here. So under earn, we can click on milk pools. And here you can see all the various tokens that they're offering at the moment when you stake milk tokens here. So um, I'm trying to earn a few more Flick2 tokens here and I'm staked in the ISPO, that's one thing. I'm earning some on ViFi as well. So here are the details in regards to what I'll actually be earning. So here I can see my rewards per milk. I'll get 42.98 Flick tokens per milk token. That seems okay. And currently there is 46,369 milk tokens staked in this pool. Total pool size of, uh, how many zeros is that? 2 million Flick tokens. And I can see the end date of this is the 1st of April. So it's just a month worth of um, uh, staking at the moment because today is the 1st of March already. Incredible. So I will, in this case, uh, there we go. I can see my milk tokens in there. I will just put in 30 milk tokens and I can see a little, little bit of ADA that needs to go with that transaction as well. That's normal. And I'll click submit and I'll sign this transaction. And now that we have our token staked on the particular pool, we can withdraw it at any time as well. So once your transaction goes through, you'll be able to see this, but we can click on my rewards on the left-hand side here. And you can see that I've delegated, not delegated, staked to the flick flick pool here with my 30 milk tokens. And so far in the time that's elapsed, I've earned 0.074 flick tokens. And here I can click on unstake. I can unstake it. I have to pay that transaction fee though. And then I'll get my uh, milk tokens back along with my flick tokens as well. So I'll get my 30 milk and whatever I've earned in terms of staking for my uh, flick tokens there. So that's it. It's really quick. It's really easy in regards to working with that particular pool. I like what they're offering there and what they're trying to do. It really will highlight some of these tokens that are, are being uh, able to stake on the particular pools here. And you can see a whole bunch of di various different tokens. I haven't heard of any of these tokens. I haven't looked into them yet either, but you can get them through that particular token pool process and earn them. And maybe one day there'll be actual, have some value behind it or there's some utility or whatever it is have a look into those projects it might be worth staking for 
So that's it for me for this video episode. If you really enjoyed this type of content, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe and click on the notification bell and you hear more great Kadana content from me soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.